Okay, we have to find the Laplace transform of this thing right here. So let's do it. Solution. Let's start by breaking it up. So this will be 2 times the Laplace of cosine 3t minus 8 times the Laplace of sine 2t plus the Laplace of the cosinch of 5t plus the Laplace of e to the 4t. Now you can't skip this step, I just uh, wanted to show some work. Okay, let's do it. So this is 2 times n. Whenever you have a cosine or a cosinch, s always goes up top. And on the bottom, it'll be s squared. In this case, in the cosine case, it's s squared plus k squared. So here k is 3. So s squared plus 3 squared. So whenever you have a cosine, cosine has the s. So uh, the s goes up top. Minus 8. Well, cosine has the s. This is sine, so it's just the k. So 2. And the bottom is the same. s squared plus 2 squared. See, it's the same as, as cosine, right? It's s squared plus k squared. s squared plus k squared. s squared plus 3 squared. s squared plus 2 squared. So the only difference is cosine has the s. Sine does not. It just has the number, the 2. Plus cosinch. Well, cosinch has the s. So it's s over, but this time it's different. It's s squared minus 5 squared, right? The cosinch and sinh functions have a minus. The cosine and sine functions have a plus. So if you just remember that the cosine and sine functions have a plus, the cosinch and sinh have a minus, and the cosine and cosinch have the s, you got it. You can do anything. You are invincible in terms of these problems, at least for these. This is 1 over s minus whatever is here, so 4. Boom, there it is. This is 2s over s squared plus 9 minus 16 over s squared plus 4 plus s over s squared minus 25 plus 1 over s minus 4. And that is the answer. I hope this has helped someone out there who is working on Laplace transforms.